Hi guys, it's Tuffy the Event Planner here. Thank you so much for tuning back in and to all the new subscribers, thank you so much and welcome uh, to our series of how to's as an event planner. So today the topic that I'll be looking at is how to actually start your event planning business. So obviously you have decided or you now know exactly that you have the qualities to become an event planner and this is what you really 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 enjoy doing and you just want to plunge into it and you want to gain experience so the best way that i would probably suggest i'm talking from my own experience and how i've done it myself so probably that might help somebody else so the first thing that you need to do is to actually decide on your niche do you want to venture into social events or corporate events? So your corporate events are your meetings and your conferences. And your social events are the weddings, the birthday parties, bridal showers, you know. Um, so you just have to decide which one you really want to venture into. For myself, I was lucky enough to be working at a hotel which catered for both corporate events and social events. So I had experience of both and I really, really enjoyed both of them. So, but for yourself, I would probably suggest to decide on which one you want to venture into. So let's say you want to go for the social events. My suggestion would be to start small, probably begin by planning your friends and family's events. So whoever wants to have a birthday party or that bridal shower and they don't have time to plan it or they are planning it but you want to, to, to help out because you enjoy doing it, please go for it. Because by doing so, you're also gaining the experience of running around, planning an event, etc, etc. The other way is to get in touch with other event planners in the event industry. Speak to them, tell them that this is what you really enjoy doing and you want to gain experience. So what they will do, they will start you off with them from the beginning when they get a, a, a new event that they're planning, whether it's an event for a thousand people, five thousand people or two hundred people. They can then work with you and you work alongside them. By doing so, you're actually gaining experience from a real event and from a real event manager or event, or event planner and you do get to to experience the whole experience of starting an event of planning an event from start to finish you will realize that event planning is not just turning up looking good in your heels and just looking to see if everybody just sat where they are meant to be sitting and just looking pretty no there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes and on the day on the floor so you get to then experience all of that without having the stress of planning it because you're working with somebody who's already planned it so it helps to look for event planners the other way that i might suggest as well if you're then looking into going into the corporate side of events is to have education or there's there, there are a lot of um probably a, a, a lot of courses online that are looking at event planning or event management that you can take if you wanted if you wish or if you already have a degree in event management i'll probably say apply to to hotels or to companies that have, that hold different kind of events and work from there start from being an event assistant or event coordinator and you work yourself up for myself i i would i i i've got a degree in, in international hospitality management and as soon as I finished, I applied um, as an event assistant at the first hotel that I was working at. And I was already working at that hotel as a waitress. So I already had that experience of working on the day of an event, but as a waitress. But I didn't have the back of house experience of planning the event. So as soon as I finished and I graduated, I informed them that I wanted to, 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 to sort of like work in the office planning and that's how I then started. And I worked myself up to being an event manager. And then eventually I left and started my own company. 
So that's the other ways you can go, you, you, you can begin as an event planner. So for myself in my business as well, I am taking internships. So if you are somebody who's in the UK, the West Midlands, and you're looking for some experience, I am happy to help, feel free to DM me. So on the next video, we will be looking at how to then start marketing your your company how to actually um how to do all the legal bits because you would have gained that experience that you want and you're ready to take on your first first client and you have to have to it has it has to be the right way so you have to to register your business the the, the correct way the right way all the legal bits to be done and everything else because now you've got the experience you've got the portfolio that you would have uh, for your portfolio, probably I forgot to mention that at these events that you did plan for your family and friends, ask to take pictures and build your social presence from there. Have your Instagram page up, your Facebook page up, and just showcase your work from your work and services from there. And then you can then build up your website and everything else from there. But that's what probably I can share for now on how you can start your event planning business and gain your experience from there so i'll catch you up on the next session keep those messages coming through keep those questions coming through and if there's other event planners out there and you've got other ways of starting or you want to share your own experience of how you started to help others out there please please feel free to contact me feel free to leave me um comments as well as how you started and let's just help each other out there because there are a lot of events happening out there there are a lot of organizers that need event planners the world is so big and it actually requires us the event planners to be there to plan events for them so let's help each other out let's share ideas industry ideas where we're getting our customers from blah 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 but yes um it's an exciting journey and it's a journey that you will not regret so thank you so much i will catch you on the next video thank you